section, I will try to teach you everything I can about breaking your opponent's center line. In order for you to understand more of how to break your opponent's center line, you must first understand what the center line is. In previous lex lectures on drunken soccer, we have spoken on the subject of the green line being where you are able to understand where your opponent's center line is. Notice I'm standing between these two squares. First, the ball is between my legs. Notice right here, the center line is the line in which I'm talking. It's between my leg. Notice what happens when I raise one leg. All my weight is right here on this leg. Notice what happened when, when I go on my right leg. All my weight is on this leg. Now, chances are to reason. If I go this way with the ball, where's all my weight? Right here. And let's say 10% or 2% is over here. Let's go back to the beginning. And if I should go right over here, all my weight is here on this leg. So your job is to go here with the ball, just as in previous lessons on footworks. Let's take it back from the beginning. Breaking your center line or your opponent's center line is quite easy. Let me remove the ball so you can see what I'm talking about. Notice my waist right here, my waist right here. Notice I'm leaning to the right. What happens? All my weight is right here. I'm leaning to the left now. Where's all my weight? Right here. So, what happens? What is going on? Why is there so much problem with actually tricking your opponents while playing soccer? Shouldn't it be easy? Because that's the reason. If I should stand on one leg right over here in this side, and you come to right here, you go right here while I'm on one leg. Can I raise this leg to catch you? No. And if I'm on this leg and you should go right here with the ball, I come across me with the ball. Can I go over there? No. Because I'd have to move this leg. And if I do try to move this leg, I will fall. That's easy. That's basic. You don't need no textbook. You need nothing to understand that simple fundamental truth. And I don't know why many soccer players are screwing such a simple thing up. Let's take it from the scratch. In one of my book, Drunken Soccer, Fenton, The Art of Soccer Disruption, I briefly wrote a whole chapter and how simple it is anyone can actually utilize some simple methods from that chapter to improve their soccer skills. Now, say that to say this, the center line is right here. Your opponent waist is right before you. That's what you need to watch and look on this cross into the line, the area that you know is weak. There's no balance over there. And that's the area where the, the soccer ball is, right over here. You should try to pass him along that line. Ladies and gentlemen, this is so simple. And yet still, many players screw such a simple task up. Many players will try to do tricks, soccer tricks, that still falls under the boundaries of the simple fundamental truth that I'm trying to disclose to you. Let me incorporate the ball within this segment. Notice the ball is on the center line of my opponent. Let's say I rock to the, to the left. My opponent falls and come along to, with the, to the left with me. And I step back over the ball and flick it back on the left. What will happen is my opponent might follow me to the right. And in that quick split second, I push it on his left. And it's vice versa. Notice, it's vice versa. These are a series of movements that you will always see in the soccer field. You will see this, the person reaching out for the ball. 
And if the person is reaching out for the ball, notice what happens. Let me make you see it quite clearly. The person is reaching out for the soccer ball that is right there. And you have it. And he's reaching out for the soccer ball. Notice which leg is on the line. Which leg is off balance? This leg. Your job is to take the ball across here. Take the ball across right along this path, right here, to the leg that is stationary. In my book, Drunken Soccer Thinking, I've elaborated more on that subject. Ladies and gentlemen, I do hope that you understand this, how simple it is to break someone's center line. Stay tuned for more. Thank you.